G'day, Andy here from Calca. This is a very exciting time for our clients as this is the first major tangible part of the building process. Before any concrete is poured, the underslab drainage is inspected by a council inspector. One thing we do is we place termite collars around the base of the penetrations coming through the slab to protect the home from future potential termite infestation. Once this is complete, primitive form work is placed to create the footprint of the home. Our preferred method of construction is waffle pod. However, this is determined by the engineer's details, which is done at the start of the job. Once the perimeter boxing is complete, black polyethylene plastic is placed on the ground to stop any rising damp in the future to the underside of the concrete structure. The pods are made from styrofoam and are placed inside the perimeter boxing to form a grid pattern. Then the steel is placed between the pods as per the details set out in the engineer's drawings. The steel mesh is placed over the pods with spaces to create concrete coverage above and below the steel. The steel mesh acts as a continuous reinforcing to help bond the concrete together. Once ready to pour, the concrete is batched and sent to site at a steady rate throughout the morning. Once arrived, the material is placed inside the perimeter boxing by way of a pump. The concrete is then vibrated into position and to also remove any air pockets that may be created. By the way of chemical reaction, the concrete will harden and set within a short period of time. The slab will be shaped and smoothed out over the course of the day, and during this process, the boxing will be stripped. The concrete will be hard enough to walk on by as early as the afternoon. Over the next few days, the site will be cleaned and prepared for the next stage of the building process, which is framing. 